What's going on guys, your boy Amazing, we're back with another video, and in today's video guys, me doing the Demon King battle and showcasing the brand new UR Escanor without actually running DK Meliodas, guys. So I was trying to think of a comp here that I could run for Escanor um, on the Sins team where we wouldn't have to run DK Meli, and my main thought I uh, or idea for it was just replacing DK Meli. So for you guys that don't know, usually what I run is this exact same team, but with DK Meli instead of Askinor here. I'm actually going to see if Askinor can be a viable replacement for that character, and if that actually does work out in this video, then I mean, this might be my new main team. We'll have to see, guys. So... Before we actually hop into the video though, make sure to subscribe to your boy Amazing. We are on the road to the 50,000 subscribers. If you guys haven't hit that sub button already, man, what are you doing? We are closing in on the 45,000, less than 100 subs away from, from this point on, guys. So definitely make sure to push for that. And with that out of the way, man, let's hop in and let's actually go over the team here. So Valentine's the end. The main reason why we're rocking her is because she does provide up to 30% basic stats um, right here from the symbol of love. So 3 times 10, 30%. Um, she also is able to get critical defense whenever her stance is removed, and she provides attack related stats for the team, which means our cards are not going to get deleted from the Demon King. Remember that the Demon King actually does remove, you know, your cards. Um, whenever you do not have an attack related skill, he'll do that like every other turn on the first phase. Um, obviously we're running Escanor here guys with the main DPS. I still have not actually bought Nelfis for my Escanor yet, so he still is kind of on the, some free to play, uh, you know, costumes right there. Um, but he is 4-6 to six on the dupe level, and we are running attack crit damage for his gear. Now, moving on, we are running UR Gother here. The main reason why for Gother is he's able to provide up to 20% basic stats in a 4v4 setting, while being able to rank up his own rank up card whenever you do three different allied skill, uh, you know, skills. And then also the fact that he's going to be able to apply the rank enhancement buff, guys, which will obviously increase our damage by a really good margin and the final character we have on the team guys is jelly king i mean if you guys saw my uh must invest video that i made very recently you'll know why i'm bringing this character on the team and it's because of the fact that he's able to provide up to 32 percent basic stats for the entire team and i do re i really do value that uh, you know amount of basic stats he's able to provide man and another thing about king as well is that he does have a debuff attack skill which no one else on this team actually does guys so he actually has the debuff that if you know that is one of the requirements on this you know demon king battle run um then yeah i mean he'll be able to follow the rules for that so that's pretty much the team comp right there guys we are also running the sins card set and in terms of the second team here we're not running a second team it's literally dead just as gother but i'm not even going to switch to this team we're only going to run one team as well and then in terms of the food here we are going to actually put on the attack food and i think that will actually benefit us in terms of you know increasing our damage against the boss so let's hop in and let's see what this team's able to do Alrighty, guys we are loading into the demon king battle here with the sins team and you are Escanor. let's see if Escanor is able to get the job done man i've not tested to this out yet in terms of what he's capable of doing but i could definitely see why this character would be strong on this fight um because he can act as a really strong dps you know demon king melee was one of those types of characters that is able to do just absurd amount of damage so i assume uh is gonna be able to do you know fa fairly similar damage and uh be able to take out the demon king very very easily so let's see man let's actually see so we have buff debuff stand skill okay that's fine so what we'll do is we'll do this We'll do that, and then we'll do that, and so that allows us to have buff, uh, debuff, and stance. So we're going to have all those cards in our hand right there. So we have a debuff, buff, and stance. So we can actually waste all three of those cards right there. That's actually going to rank up Gother's hand as well, which is a really nice thing. So if we do get a top deck Gother rank up, that'll be great, um, just to allow us to be able to get another uh, rank up skill for the following turn. Because uh, if we were able to get, you know, maybe like a rank 3 rank up right there, that'd be really nice. Okay, it looks like we're not going to be able to get that. That's completely fine still. We're going to still follow the rules and, and keep it pushing. But um, obviously right there would have been a little bit nice to be able to get that skill. Uh, just so that we'd be able to rank up. So right here though, guys, we are not going to get hit by, uh, by that attack. Because we have the attack related stats from DN by using the skill. So let's actually do the rank up right there. Let's do the debuff attack skill. And we're going to stand up. And that's going to allow us to rank up the entire team. Askinor is also going to be double rank 3 right there, guys. So I think this coming turn, I might actually go for the kill here and see how much Askinor is able to do. So we do the single target with King. Not, uh, you know, an insane amount of damage or anything like that. We follow up with these stands with DN. And that's going to rank up the entire hand right there. So boom, we actually do get a full rank 3 hand, guys. So now what we're going to do is we'll check Askinor's stats. So we're at... 61k attack right now with a lot of crit chance crit damage pierce rate and all of that i mean let's give this a shot guys let's see what you know if we're able to kill here so i'm gonna do um this attack card with gother i'm gonna do the attack card with Escanor, and then yeah no i'm gonna do the attack card with Escanor again i think 
Uh, actually, you know what I'll do? I think I might waste... Mmm, it's tough. I'll go for the kill, I'll go for the kill. I think the, the best course of action here is just making sure we get the kill. I don't know how much Asunor is going to do, right? I really don't know. I've not seen, you know, his damage here and, and what he's capable of doing. Okay, I wasted that other single target, 100%. Asking our easily kills right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, I, I, you know what? Like, guys, I've not done this before. So, obviously, that, you know, that is a misplay right there. I could have held on to the card. But that just goes to show, like, how strong this team is with Asinor. I mean, you know, he is just a very, very strong character. So, the fact I'm able to do that, I think, is a very, you know, uh, a testament to how good the character is. You know what I mean? I think that's really, really good. So, uh, what we'll do here is we'll get a rank up on Gotha. So, I'll do this, this, and then we'll do the DN rank 2. My idea right here is that the, the boss is probably going to target Dien. Um, if the boss does uh, start to target Dien, guess what that means? That means she's going to get D rank there. And we're actually going to lose a rank 3 skill that we could have had. So I think ranking up Gotha right there to get a rank 2 could, you know, uh, actually help us out here. So let's see. Alright, so uh, right there, Gotha does rank up. We have the rank 2. King also has a rank 2 as well. So we have options now in terms of who we can use uh, for the rank 2 right there. Um, but we have to make sure that we have at least one of the rank three. So, okay, so King is going to get attacked. So, he's going to D-rank. That's fine. Um, and it's going to attack him again. Okay, that's perfect. So, Gother still has his rank two. We have a rank three with Deanna as well. So, we can easily follow the rules here and, and keep it pushing. So, uh, rank three. We'll do rank one. And then we'll do rank two. And then that's going to be uh, that's gonna be a rank up on Gother. And we're also going to get, uh, you know, Asinor Ultimate on this following turn. So we'll see what we're able to do with that. I mean, you know, Asinor's Ultimate is one of those ults that we know is not really a, list, a very strong one, guys. I mean, we'll have to see exactly what we're able to do with it, though. So we'll, we'll, we'll give it a shot and, and we'll see. I'm definitely, in hindsight, uh, you know, wanting to hold on to that single target card, though. Because we still have yet to top deck another one. And obviously, not being able to top deck another one is kind of, you know, a detriment right now. Uh, but I mean, we'll still keep it pushing. We'll see what we're able to do regardless, right? So we'll drop the uh, stance right there with Deanne. I'm going to do the ultimate here with uh, with Asinor. I'm going to do the AoE ult with Deanne as well. Just to get as much um, healing for the team as possible. We do have the rank 3, rank 2s. Asinor does 3.9 million. Wow. I mean, guys, considering, you know, Asinor is not really... He doesn't really do damage on his ult. We know this. Right, we know the fact that he does not do damage on his ult, so the fact that he was doing that, I mean, I am 4 to 6 as well, so we, all, we also gotta bear that in mind. That is still really insane for the amount of damage I just did there. I'm, I'm a little bit shocked. You know what I mean? I actually am a little bit shocked on the amount of damage that was done there, so okay. I mean, fairly good. Alright, so Dian's gonna take some hits right there. That's completely fine. We have to follow the rules here, so we're gonna do that, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that. And so now we're gonna get a rank up for the entire team as well. And I think Eskinor here should do... Oh no, he's not going to do more damage against this because it's only single targets that do more against the uh, higher HP enemy. So he does, I think he is going to increase his HP soon here uh, after this AoE. So let's see. Asuna AoE. That did a good amount of damage right there. We do actually get uh, the debuff on the enemy as well, the eternal debuff. So let's actually see. Uh, let me just see here what the uh, debuff is saying. So yeah, so Rage and Fire skills now do 50% plus damage on the enemy now. So now we actually have a really good chance, guys, to be able to, you know, kill the boss right here. So actually, I'm gonna do, uh, let's, let's do this. So stance up, we'll go for asking our single target, and then we'll waste, I guess, this rank 3 Gulther, right? Because I think, uh, that'll merge Eskinor for the following turn, and I think if Eskinor doesn't kill with this, um, we'll kill the following turn, I think, as well. So yeah, I mean, we didn't even get a ton of rank ups this run, guys, and I mean, it's been fairly good, uh, considering what we were able to do. So let's see the Asinor single target right there. That's not bad damage. Yeah, I mean, that that's actually really, really good damage right there. And so now we're going to do the follow-up single target with Gulther. That does a really good amount as well. And so now, um, yeah, no, we should be in a fairly good spot right now as well. Okay, so let's see. So he's going to go for the AoE. Um, he's going to single target Dian. All right, so I think we're good to go. Yeah, double single target right there. Okay, yeah, no. We just killed this turn, guys. Easy. Very, very easy. Honestly, that was a very easy run the, the full way through. I mean, like, let's be real, guys. That that all it was was Asinor really just kind of coming in clutch with the damage. We had really no issues going throughout the entire fight there. Asinor's AoE, a million damage right there. Yeah, I mean, you know, this is a really good showing. Wow. I mean, okay, Asinor. I didn't know he was like that on the Demon King. So there we go, guys. 
asking her on the Demon King. Do you guys think he's going to be a viable option for you guys on this, uh, you know, specific team right here? Let me know in the comment section below, guys. I think he's a really good unit for this. And if you do not have DK Meliodas, one of the best replacements in, in my opinion i mean you know being able to run a team like this and do vi that well i mean that was my first attempt you guys saw it i wasted a rank three single target i could have held on to that so the fact that i was able to clear that with relative ease and just being able to run a you know a sins based team right there with asinor instead of dk melly really really good stuff so that's gonna be it for the video i hope you guys do enjoy and we'll see you guys on the next one man peace out and have a great rest of your day guys see you later man